What is going on out of YouTube? Ace of Gamer Bean, guys, another video. I know it's been a while. I took quite a few breaks here and there on YouTube, but um, games are recently purchased. It's back, guys. Um, I literally purchased so many games over the past five months. Um, the last time I did a video like this was probably around, I don't remember, uh, November of last year, I believe. But, man, I've got so many games I picked up here, and I beat most of them, half of them mostly, and some of them haven't played yet, but... I know I get a lot of good reviews in the type of videos, so if you guys do like the type of video, please don't forget to hit the like button. I highly appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get right into it. First game we have here is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition. I've already about the regular Legacy Edition, but not the Pro Edition. And this comes with a nice little steel book. Um, I'm going to try to check it out here in one hand. Let's see. Hope it don't fail. But... It comes with a steel book. It's pretty cool here. It has the Infinite Warfare cover right here, and also have the Modern Warfare Remaster cover. And it does come with both games. You get the season pass, and you also get a few DLCs here and there. But that's that. I got a pretty good deal at the pawn shop for like 30 bucks, man. That's a, that's a pretty good deal. Next up, we have the Batman, uh, the Tall Tale series. The Enemy Within. This is the second part of the first Batman Telltale game, and I had a lot of fun with this game. It's fun, man. I mean, Telltale, one of my favorite story-based games. And with Batman, they did the best job in this. Man, it's just absolutely amazing. And I'm pretty sure the game's going on for cheap now, but, man, overall, this game is awesome. I literally gave it a 10 out of 10. And sadly, Telltale game's not around no more, but it's just as good as The Walking Dead series from Telltale. Next up, we have Ghost Recon Wildland. I used to be a big fan of Ghost Recon back in the 360 game, so I was like, might as well get Wildlands. I heard a pretty good review in this game. And also, the new one's coming out pretty soon. I forgot what it's called, but I'm looking forward to it. Next up, we have Outlast Trinity. It includes three games. Well, Outlast 1 and, and Outlast 1 DLC and Whistleblower and Outlast 2. This game has to be the scariest gameplay of my life, guys. It has been ranked the scariest Xbox One and uh, I believe the PS4 game also, and it is terrifying, guys. I highly recommend. It's a very, very nice horror survival horror game. Take them to the next level. You know, you can't really fight back in these type of games. All you have is a camera. All you could do is just, you know, hide and just pray that you won't get killed in this game. Overall, Outlast Trinity is awesome. Next up, we have Forza Horizon 2. I was a big fan of Forza games, so this is my very first Forza Horizon game I ever played. I know Horizon 4 came out recently but horizon 2 is pretty cool it was recently free on uh, xbox live games gold but i'm a collector so i got went over you know purchased the physical copy good game next up one of my favorite series of all time assassin's creed and i picked up assassin's creed odyssey i believe this game is on sale it is absolutely amazing it's breathtaking great story amazing graphics and Man, not much to say about this game, but this is literally one of my favorite Assassin's Creed of all time. Followed by Assassin's Creed 2. Next up, we have another Assassin's Creed game that is Assassin's Creed Origins. Great game. Great visual. I love the campaign. I love the settings of the game. You know, ancient Egypt and all that cool stuff. And the game is awesome, guys. I highly recommend it also. Next up, we have Rainbow Six Siege. This is a Ubisoft multiplayer base only game it's pretty cool i didn't spend too much time with game but i need to get back into it um at the moment i'm playing different games right now but rainbow six game i used to love this back in the 360 games and with siege i heard a lot of great reviews so can't wait to get into it next up we have far cry new dawn this game is amazing man that's all i gotta say about this um this is a few years after the far cry 5 you know campaign wise and this game should be a DLC from Far Cry 5. I don't know why they separated them into a whole different game, but this game is awesome. You have these two right here, sisters here in the game. They are absolutely maniacs. The game is awesome. Like again, like I said, like Assassin's Creed, the graphics are breathtaking. They're very, very nice and vibrant colors and all that. Great game. Next up, we have Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, Season Pass Edition. Um, I played Sniper Ghost Warrior game back in the days. Even though this game is highly underrated, um, it didn't get that much good reviews from critics and all that once I played the game, but 
this game has so much potential. It could have been better with what it was, but give it a chance. The game is pretty cool. Nice little campaign here. Even though it has its bugs and issues, the game is pretty cool. Next up, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant in Manhattan. This game is cool. I remember we used to play the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games back in the PS2 games with my friends back in the day. And man, this game is pretty cool. Even though it's not, it doesn't have really have a co-op game, but Xbox Live it does. But the game is pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's kind of like open world almost. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. It's pretty cool, you know. Uh, at times it is repetitive. You do fight the same bosses at least twice before you beat them. But overall, the game is okay. It's pretty cool. Next up, we have The Sims 4. Um, highly disappointed in this game. I played Sims 3 and the rest of the Sims series back in the PS2 days. But Sims 4, I don't know, it has bugs and I don't know. It's not really a cool Sims game, but I do prefer Sims 3. But Sims 4 is the most recent one and you could have a little fun with the game, you know, if you play online kind of. With, I don't know if you can play with people, but it's okay. It's not as good as Sims 3, though, in my opinion. Next up, we have another Telltale game. That is Telltale Game of Thrones. You know, a lot of people have been talking about how Game of Thrones was so horrible ending in Season 8. I didn't watch it. I'm not really a big fan of Game of Thrones games, but Telltale Game, I was like, I couldn't have passed this up. I had to get the Telltale series game, and this game, it is pretty cool, man. It's brutal. That's all I gotta say. I've heard Game of Thrones is brutal, but... You gotta get into the game, I can't tell you more about it, but it is a pretty awesome game. You know I'm a big fan of Telltale game. You have another Telltale game that is the Minecraft story mode. This is cool, man. It takes Minecraft to another whole new level. The game, it is very, very fun, man. Story-driven game, like I said, with Telltale. And you can get the game pretty cheap, you know. I'm also looking forward to getting Telltale Minecraft Season 2. So, I beat this one already, so I can't wait to give myself into Season 2. Next up, the game I'm currently playing right now, it is absolutely amazing. That is Red Dead Redemption 2 for the Xbox One. Got this game for 25 bucks online on offer up, and I got a pretty amazing deal. The game literally came out in perfect condition. You know, I can't, <laughs> let me get short real quick. The person I bought it from took care of that game pretty well. So look at that, nearly in mint condition, 25 bucks. So usually these games in retail, is you still going for 40 to 60 bucks still and it's a rockstar game man open world type of game just as you know as gta i've been playing red dead redemption since the one for 360 the first one i had a lot of fun this game but redemption 2 amazing graphics i just got into it beat a few missions here and there the game's awesome man can't wait to get back into it next up we have crash bandicoot insane trilogy um it includes three Original Crash Bandicoot games back from the PS2 has been, you know, reskinned, remastered, and the graphics are amazing. Uh, the only problem with this game is that they made the game twice as hard than the, the PS1 one. Because the one on the PS1 wasn't as hard as this one. So as soon as you get your hands in, in this game, guys, don't expect the game to be, you know, a cakewalk. It's not going to be a cakewalk. It's going to take time to beat the game. So yeah, that's that. And last but not least, we have Sniper Elite 4. Been a big fan of Sniper Elite games, and Sniper Elite 4, it is absolutely amazing. It's It delivers what it says on the cover. Very, very, very nice game, man. The graphics are cool. And yeah, can we, hopefully they make Sniper Elite 5 somehow, somewhere down the line in the future. But, well, there it is, guys. Those are all the games I purchased, and hopefully the stack does not fall over. But if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smack that like button. Hey, Sega, I'm here. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day and peace out.